What's going on guys? It's Maddie here from DCLblogger.com. I'm making a video for people that are interested in participating in Decentraland's second land auction. Now we've already had one land auction all the way back in sometime December, January. I actually missed the auction. I got involved pretty much a couple of weeks just after the auction finished. So I was a little bit annoyed that I didn't know about the project and everyone picked up all these cheap lands. But you know what? I paid a bit of a premium and, I'm, and I've invested really well so far over the last seven to eight uh, or nine months. Um, so yeah guys, so this is going to be a video for, um, all the way from a beginner crypto, like an absolute noob who's never even s bought anything cryptocurrency related. Maybe you've heard about the project, um, Decentraland and you really want to get some virtual land, but there's a way about it because Decentraland lies within the vir uh, cryptocurrency, uh, kind of crypto world. So you got to understand a little bit about Bitcoin. You have to understand a little bit about exchanges, wallets, and a few other things. I'm going to try and go that go through that um, in this video. So we've got about seven days till the start of the auction, which is going to be quite soon, guys. Um, and this is the marketplace. OK, so we've got the auction is just like a ticker right now. It's counting down to seven days. I'm assuming once um, there are seven days is up, you can start bidding on the auction. But currently, if you want to buy land from the marketplace, you can buy any parcel you want anywhere in the world that are, that is for sale. And people have listed the parcel price at the moment. So 12,760 mana. So this is the mana token um, price. So this is not in dollars or US dollars. This is a cryptocurrency called the mana token. So just like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe some other cryptocurrencies you guys have heard of. Here is a list of the top 100 cryptocurrencies on coinmarketcap.com. Bitcoin is number one, sitting at about $70 billion market cap. Pretty much one of the reasons why it's at 4,000 US dollars currently at the moment. But if you scroll all the way down here, you will see MANA token just past the top 50 on number 63. We're sitting at 0 0.06 cents. OK, so we're not too bad. I'm um, considering um, there's like thousands and thousands of, the, um, you know, coin projects on coin market cap. We're on the first page, which is a big thing and very close to the top 50. So hopefully somewhere during the auction or maybe even after the auction, when people stock up on MANA because they need to purchase land, we might see ourselves a lot higher than this. But anyway, that's a discussion for another video. So guys, you need to get your hands on some decentral land mana token. Okay, so the token is at six cents. The token can be bought at a few different exchanges. Binance is obviously a popular choice. You've also got Bittrex. You've also got Bitfinex. Um, uh, you've got uh, like those, th those three are, are some major ones. I'm sure you've got some other ones here and there, but uh, if you know your yourself your way around these these exchanges, then you can purchase yourself some mana token. So, if you do not know anything about Bitcoin, you've never purchased Bitcoin before, then in your country you will have a local exchange that you can convert your local currency to cryptocurrency. So in our country, it is CoinSpot, which is the which is a popular exchange, and I can I log into here and I can buy and sell um, Bitcoin, right? So I can buy Bitcoin. And um, they'll pull money straight out of my bank account. And um, they'll once I have the money into this exchange in this kind of um, in this online uh, wallet, then I can put, use that money to buy any of these coins that I want. So I can buy Ripple for 50 cents Aussie dollars per Ripple coin. I can buy Bitcoin for four and a half, five and a half thousand Aussie dollars per Bitcoin. And once I get some Bitcoin, um, what you'll have to do is you'll have to transfer that Bitcoin to Binance. Okay. Because Binance is where you can buy mana tokens. So my in, in CoinSpot, you can't really buy mana token at the moment. So you'll have to buy just Bitcoin or Ethereum and transfer either Bitcoin or Ethereum into its respective Bitcoin or Ethereum wallets. Right. Um, so the, once you do that, say, for example, you have transferred your um, you've transferred it to your Bitcoin wallet and your each coin has its own wallet. All right. So once you transfer it to your Bitcoin wallet, then you can go to the exchange and then go to Bitcoin. Sorry, let's go to Mana. Mana BTC pair. So this is so you can use your Bitcoin to buy Mana, right? So now what we can do is go down here. Say you want to buy Mana. You want to buy 10,000 Mana. It'll say that you need 0 0.1542 Bitcoin. So if you got that much Bitcoin, then you can buy 10,000 Mana. Okay. So you'll have to figure out, so this price here, 0 0.00001542 BTC. Let's just put that, um, 
in a calculator point zero 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 one five four two so that's bitcoin so times that by the price of bitcoin which is currently at like four thousand so it's about six cents which is what we're seeing at coin market cap remember we saw six cents over here um where are we so six cents so yeah in aussie dollars and us dollars it's, or whatever currency you have it's the same as buying it in bitcoin anyway so once you have your mana token what you'll have to do now is to transfer it to another wallet which is the wallet that you'll be using to participate in the land auction that wallet is called metamask okay now your metamask wallet is the wallet that you're going to be using and it's pretty much just a chrome browser uh, metamask chrome browser where you can download it from you know it's a google chrome um it's a, it's a google chrome plugin um that you can download and um, install into your browser and once you do that okay once you do that it's going to appear here you'll have to set up yourself an account make sure you copy and paste or save photograph the pass key that you're going to get because if you lose that pass key to your wallet you will lose every coin you have in there for example right now i have uh, about 2.7 ethereum worth 314 us dollars i have 477,000 mana which is worth like uh about twenty seven thousand us dollars or something like that so if i lose the pass key to this wallet i literally lose all of these coins it is not recoverable if you forget that okay so make sure you save that um do some tests to log out and log back in to make sure you can log back into this and now what happens is you get this unique address okay so when you set up a, a metamask wallet you're going to get this unique address which is your unique ethereum address where you can send your mana token to so for example so this is my address um i can i can give people this ethereum address and be like hey man can you give me one ethereum and i'll you know mow your lawn for you or something so for example if people used um you know service get if they get paid in crypto they'll basically give people this address and you can pay them in crypto and this is an ethereum address so coins that are built on the ethereum network which is one of the reasons why ethereum is such a big coin is because there's so many tokens out there that use ethereum blockchain um, to build their own token so mana is built on the ethereum token uh, ethereum blockchain so you can use um, this address to send your mana token to okay so obviously don't send it to this address this is my address you will have your own unique address which your metamask will spit out for you okay which is going to be over here you just literally click this and it will tell you now all right so now you you purchased bitcoin in your local exchange or even Binance, maybe you, you can just make an account straight with Binance and you've purchased mana using Binance or Bittrex or, or a few of the other. So for example, we can just go over here and click on Decentraland. Let's just figure out what other exchanges um, you can buy the mana token on. Um, if you click on markets, it'll tell us. So we have Binance, uh, Hu Hubi, more Binance, Bittrex. Um, OK Exchange, Liqui, these other exchanges, I have no idea where they are. What are these? USDT, OK, no idea. MXN, is that Mexican? Bitso, so there's another exchange. So all of these exchanges, whichever one is your local one, you can buy mana token on. OK, mana slash whatever. So this is, it's got a, it's got a mana Ethereum pair, mana BTC pair, mana USDT pair. So do they have any direct US dollar pairs? Um... Not that I, oh here we go so this is on F Phoenix you can buy directly on USD there's not much volume there so yeah I would just just consider buying it from Binance anyway so you've got your mana uh, mana token um, say you bought ten to twenty thousand mana tokens and now you, if you you got to transfer that so you find your your wallet I'm not logged in and I'm not going to log in but you find your mana token wallet you click on there it'll have a send um, option and you literally paste this address. So this is my address, so don't paste this one, paste your own address. You paste that address there, you press send, and um, once and then once it transfers, it'll take some time to transfer, you will have um, you know X amount of X amount of mana in this wallet of yours. Your wallet will pick it up. So then it'll say, okay, twenty thousand mana. So you bought twenty thousand mana, you transferred it to there, it'll have it over here. If it doesn't, actually it won't have it. What you need to do is you'll have to activate this token, which what which is basically um you go where is it deposit send 
maybe it's here. Uh, don't see your tokens. Click add token to add them to your account. So you'll have to add your token. So yeah, now that I remember, I actually added this token to view. So your MetaMask will have your token there, but it's not going to be visi visible because you have to activate this token. So you'll have to go to add token. Um, so if you just search, let's say Decentraland, bang, it's there, right? So you have to click this and click next and add that token and then it'll display your token amount for you. Okay. So, okay. So now you have X amount of mana. So for example, I have 477,000 mana in my MetaMask wallet. And now when I log into uh, my market.decentraland.org, you'll, you'll have an option to log in. You'll have to log in. Then you'll have to go to your profile. You'll have to tickle all these things. So um, you know, authorizations, you have to tick, 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 all the things that you allow this marketplace to do. And then once you do that, then you are in, you have your mana token ready to go. You have all these lands in front of you. You can communicate with, um, Decentraland. You can buy and sell things. You know, you can, you can do this. Um, you can buy, you can get a mortgage, you can do whatever you want. So what this is going to do is this is going to pop up the, um, MetaMask notification to confirm the buy and if I click submit or confirm, it's going to buy this for 31,950. Obviously I'm going to click reject. Um, this is just a gas fee. So yeah, you also have to have a bit of Ethereum to be able to make these transactions. So you're going to use mana to purchase um, land, but every time you make a transaction on the Ethereum network, which is what we're doing by clicking this buy button, you're going to pay a small fee in Ethereum coin okay so we're paying 0 0.002 ethereum to tr to make this transaction which is 25 cents so uh, you'll have to do the exact same thing by going to finance and buying some ethereum so you'll have to transfer your bitcoin to ethereum and send a bit of ethereum ethereum maybe it's 0 0.1 ethereum you'll have to send that to the exact same address as your the one that you sent your mana to and it's going to appear over here okay and you'll have that ethereum so every time you make a transaction you will be able to, um, you, uh, you, you'll, you'll, it'll take a bit of fee from that Ethereum. It doesn't really use much, maybe 25 cents, sometimes 10 cents, sometimes even 5 cents. The more fee you pay, the quicker your transaction will happen. Um, so, okay, so you've got some Ethereum, you've got some mana, you've logged into your meta, uh, you've logged into your Decentraland um, kind of marketplace over here. And now all we do is we wait for the auction countdown. So once this goes from seven days to zero, um, you can buy any land that you want. So if you're not familiar how the auction is going to work is, um, by the way, I'm pretty sure Decentraland themselves are going to introduce their own tutorial video, but this is just a kind of a quick unofficial video for those that are, that might want to get mana a bit early. Remember people are going to buy mana to stock up and, um, hold it till they, they, you know, they can purchase their, um, their land so if i personally think that the mana token is going to increase in value because people are going to buy it to participate in the land auction that makes sense to me so i'm holding a lot of mana token right because i'm confident that mana token will rise land will rise as well hopefully but at least mana token might rise because people need mana to participate in the land auction makes sense to me right so um yeah, so how it's going to work is a rev is, is a Dutch auction. So all these lands that you see in black, these are all the ones that are for that are going to be on the second land auction. I believe there's about 9,300 of them. All the light blue ones are the ones currently for sale. All the gray ones, like kind of light gray ones, are the ones that are owned but not for sale. So people are going to build on them whenever they want. But all these black ones over here, these are the ones for sale. So what you're going to be able to do, which they have made it very clear, in some of the documentation is, is in the second land auction it's not going to be like a traditional auction where you bid against other people it's going to be a dutch auction so prices are going to start at um 200 mana on the very first day and on the second day they're going to drop all the way down to 100 mana and then the third day they're going to go down to 50 000 mana and then every day onwards to that i think they're going to drop by 5 000 or 3 000 mana or something like that until they reach about 1 000 mana so they're going to keep going down and down and down until someone just literally clicks on it with the price that they're happy with. Say it's down to 25,000 mana. They click on it and then they go to buy and they buy that for that price. Now, what you're going to be able to do as well is select a bunch of different lands at the same time. Say you want to buy this five by five over here. You'll have, you can select all of these five by fives and then buy them all at the same time. So that'll allow people to buy estates 
and not allow others to kind of snipe a land within those estates to kind of mess up that person, which is what happened in the first auction. Um, I don't know why people did that, but they did. And, you know, it messed up some people from getting the estates that they wanted. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's what's going to be happen now. In the first auction, um, it was crazy, right? Like, I, I obviously wasn't part of it, but look at these figures. So, 161 million mana was 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 kind of um, used in to purchase land in the first um, auction. So, at that time, at the end of the second auction, that 161 million mana was worth about $28 million. Right, because because mana was trading at about fifteen to twenty cents. So even at fifteen cents, zero point one five times one hundred and sixty one million is twenty four million dollars. So twenty four million dollars was kind of spent in the first virtual land auction for Decentraland. So in the second and and all of this mana that was used, it was burnt. Right, it was taken out of circulation. So that's why the mana price kind of continued to stay above 67 cents. It kind of jumped up from 2 cents to about 67 cents. Um, and, and it kind of, well, actually went from 2 cents to about 15 to 20 cents. And then kind of dropped back down. And now it's fluctuating between 6 to 10 cents. Because, you know, Bitcoin's kind of getting smashed right now. But, yeah. In this land auction, I don't know. There's about 9,300 lands for sale. So, for example, the cheapest land at the moment is selling for... Um, let's see. What's the cheapest? The cheapest land at the moment is selling for about nine thousand six hundred mana. Oh wait, that's not the cheapest. Is it the cheapest? It is nine thousand six hundred and thirty-one mana. Let's just be really conservative and say five thousand mana is the average price that these lands go for. So five thousand. Let's multiply that by the nine thousand three hundred. That means forty-six million mana is probably going to be used and burnt in the auction. 46 million mana, um, considering that the circulating supply is at 1 billion mana, um, 46 million divided by 1 billion, wait, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, times that by 100, that's 4.6% of circulation supply of yeah, 4.6% of the circulating supply is going to be burnt. So it's kind of like, you know, 5% of the overall circulating supply is going to be burnt. That's a lot of money that's going to be burnt. So all the people accumulating and that spend their mana, like imagine that all that supply has been taken out of the marketplace. Can you imagine that? All that supply has been taken out of the order books. Now there's way less supply and maybe more demand right so the price has to increase unless bitcoin gets smashed even further down I, i'm pretty confident like the the mana token will increase so i'm kind of diversified in my holdings anyway guys that's a bit of a small tutorial for people there's a little bit more to it if you want me to go through the depths of kind of how to exactly send transactions or how to send bitcoin from one wallet to the other wallet or ethereum from one wallet to the other wallet but to be honest that kind of a tutorial will take more than an hour and there's plenty of video tutorials on how to send um you know money from bitcoin or, or ethereum from bitcoin to metamask if you have any questions don't hesitate to join the decentraland discord all right so you can go to the decentraland.org website and in the top right corner um they've got their discord channel and there's a ton of people that are very active in Discord. So you accept the invite, you jump in, and literally there, there is channels for everything, guys. So you can talk and ask questions about the marketplace. You can talk and ask questions about land trading, um, general chat, developing. There's a bunch of stuff going on everywhere, guys. Okay, so yeah. If you have any questions, if you're kind of stuck anywhere, join the Discord, chat around, and hopefully people can help you. Good luck and um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next um, auction.